as the digital boxes are put into every home in America, and it's coming, right now about 20% of the homes that have access to, to digital cable have digital cable, and so when digital comes in, you're going to be able to take one analog channel, one out of the 108, and turn it into 10 more channels. So you have over 1,000 channels. And so the first question is, what are you going to do with 1,000 channels? Even a guy that loves to surf through the television, can't, like me, can't get through 1,000 channels of programming. I mean, that's, that would be just too much to expect. And so what we're going to do is take four of those channels. And we're going to take a, 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 a course. Let's say it's Bill Nye, the science guy. And let's say this time, instead of the sun, he's talking about the effect of pouring acid onto to, to a cloth. And so Bill Nye's on all four channels. You're watching one of them. And he's talking about, he's talking about this, this thing. Okay, Today, kids, we're going to talk about acid. He's got the vial there, and it's bubbling or whatever it does. And he's going to pour it. He says, what's going to happen if I pour it on? Now, if you think it's going to burn a hole in the cloth, push the up button. If you think it's going to turn it blue, you push the right button. And every television control thing has these buttons. If you think it's going to blow it up and explode this place, push the down button. And so the kids push the up, the left, or, the, or up, right, or down button. And depending on their response, there are four channels of responses that Bill Nye has built into the television set, okay, or into the broadcast system. So if you got it right, then Bill and I would say, yeah, you're a genius. You're a real chemist. This is great. Congratulations. If you got it wrong, he would gently kind of take you another direction until you got it right. But you can take television, one-way broadcast, and bring engaging and interesting products into homes, and maybe into schools, but into homes, so that the teacher can assign as a tutorial or as something that complements her lesson for that week can assign your going into that web or onto that television station and, and running through that program. And what's really fun about it for teachers is we capture the kids' responses. So we know the kid did it. We know how well the kid did. And we're going to design programs that tell us not only if the kid did it and how well the kid did, but how the kid is learning best. Because you can phrase questions in such a way and present questions in such a way that you can measure the learning profile of the kid. And then you can begin to have adapt adaptations to the kid's learning style with future programs. So I'm really excited about it. It's probably not the easiest way to make money in the world. I'll be honest with you. I wish I had started Atlas Mall, for example. <laughs> that's not going to be easy. But that's a, that's, a, that's a darn interesting idea. And it's going to be very, very successful, and the beneficiary of that is not just the principals who founded it, and they should be handsomely rewarded, but Canyonville, with those 10,000 shares someday, is going to be raking in all kinds of benefit from it. This is not going to be the slam dunk type thing, although I'm really excited. We've, mani we've managed to hire incredibly talented education specialists and marketing specialists and web design specialists to work with us. But it, is, but it is coming. The broadband world is coming, and these kinds of pro products are going to be bought by school districts and by schools and by parents and by kids on a tutorial basis or as part of a whole curriculum, and it's just a matter of time.